What's going on, people? This your boy DJ Juice, and I want to shout out to EarnestGQ.com. You already know. And that's right, we back right here with the DJ. You already know what it is, beating up your lunch break from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. But, <coughs> excuse me, I got my main man, Ernest GQ, in the building. This is photographer slash mixtape host slash graphic designer slash promoter slash Entro Pro Negro <laughs> slash all that. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. How you doing, DJ? Jones? I'm good, man. Good to have you in the show. Y'all come in here like the Breakfast Club, man. You got me brought your whole entourage. I had to bring the crew, man. All three of y'all. Yeah, yeah, all three of them. We in the building. <laughs> all right. So, my man, tell us about yourself, man. Like, uh, how long? Well, first off, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing all right, man. It's, it's a blessed day, man. I'm alive. And right, right, right. Just ready to get the day started, man. All right. So, for the people who don't know you, let's let's just talk about Ernest GQ, okay? Let's 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 talk about um, what your contribution to the entertainment uh, business is all about. Like, t talk to me about that. First and foremost, you know, uh, I DJ. I drop mixtapes online. That pills live. You know, all the, all the mistake sites, uh, the graphic design for a lot of artists, a lot of singers, um, photography. It's, I'm just like a renaissance man. I do it all. Man. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Um, okay, well, let me ask you, how long you been dealing with, you know, with the business and stuff? How, you know, when you got started? I got started when I was like 14, man. Uh, I got started, you know, my mom and my dad, you know, Dr. Love, Miss Love, well-known in Morgan City. You know, they was DJs and just kind of passed the torch down to me, man. And I took it to a whole different level and just made it a business. And um, just seen a lot of the talent and, you know, Morgan City doing their thing. I like CC Waterbound, uh, Green Acres, Link Tight, you know, most Wow, of, this most man knows <laughs> the history of Morgan City. Yeah, man. And Morgan City is definitely in the building. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to Dr. Love and DJ Love, man. That's real. Yeah, you know, they you know, doing their thing, you know, they just yeah, influenced me to want, want to be a businessman, want to do my own thing, and, you know, I'm still young, and I'm just... Young and getting it. Young and getting it, right, basically, right, right, man, right. and I'm just, like I said, I'm just blessed to know the things that I know and done the things I've done, so there's more to come from me. Right, right, from right. Me. So, let me ask you another question. What, what started you... Uh, you know what? 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 What really influenced you? Like, who? Are you, who? What really started you into getting into all this? I know you said you mentioned the fact that your dad was into music, or whatever. And you know, you you've always did your background with uh, different cultures right, and right. different things. Like, what, what really got you started? You know. Um. What originally got me started was you know just being on social media, just being on MySpace, just you know seeing how people was just yeah just those days you know just those seeing how people days. was like blowing up and just making a name for themselves and I'm like I want to do that too. It's like I love music. Well, let me get into this music thing. Try rapping. You know eh, that didn't work out. <laughs> you know dropped the mixtape, right. did three right. downloads, but you know and I said you know what I'm gonna just <laughs> DJ and I started screw, do, doing screw the chop you know uh -huh. and. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. When you say it, make sure you say chop and screw. Well, chop and screw. You gotta say screw and chop. You gotta say chop, chop and screw. You got people in Texas crying right now. <laughs> Come on. Man. And uh, just started doing music like that, and then I seen you know how that pip came around around the times, and this is about ten years ago, and just wanted to start dropping mixtapes, and like I said, just history from there, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. So as far as your uh, musical influences of the art, you know, who are some? Uh, the people who inspired you, or some, uh, whether they're local or national or international, like who are some people that you really um, listen to that, that you kind of grab and got your niche from? Well, started out listening to a lot of No Limit records, uh, a lot of their stuff. Shout out to Master P and the whole crew. Um, shout out to Moby Dick Pool, you know what I'm saying? A very good friend of mine. And um, he's, a, you know, gave me a lot of advice and um, just, you know, like Easy, NWA, just a lot of very, you know, big business people that really had a big impact on hip-hop and I wanted to you know always be like them and I said you know I want to start from the ground up and doing it all by myself I didn't want this person and that person being all under me I want to just do it myself and be my own boss at the end of the day ain't nothing wrong with that man yes sir uh so out of all the people that you've ever worked with who was some of the most inspirational people that you actually had a, that you have a personal connection with that you've done shows with and stuff like that or done music with um, I have to say, you know, my boy Jay Fresh, you know, um, Jay Fresh in the building, shout out Jay Fresh, shout out Jay Fresh, man, he in the building, um, 
you know, he's a very, uh, you know, a very uplifting type of guy. We used to work together at Rouse's. He was in a meat cutter. I was out there getting buggies. Getting buggies. He was cutting me. <laughs> I was out there getting buggies, and we just clicked like that, uh, man. Was like, he was like, our rap game is mixtape. You know, that's the, hold on, hold on. You know, that's that, that's, that's that light skin brother thing. You know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> he was out there in the field with the buggies. He was inside. With yeah, the, he was inside. AC, right? You know, I'm dark skin. I'm outside. And, right. um, you know, we just clicked like that. Game is mixtape. I like this music, and it's been history ever since. Since then, man, worked on like 10, 11 projects. It was 11, it was 11 projects. And we got more to come, man, more to come. So what you working on right now? Well, you know, I just launched my website, EarnestGQ.com. You know, it's basically a website that helps the artists. Um, I believe that every single artist, either locally or nationally, can use some attention. And by me giving the you know services that I can give, I want to make sure that the artist is promoted in the right way. Real. You know, they paying the right price, to, you know, promoting them in the right way. And they can do that by just going to the site, EarnestGQ.com. Right, right, right. So we're talking about the musical aspect right now, Mr. Ernest GQ. Mm -hmm. Right after these beats, we're going to get into the uh, other aspects with the uh, the uh, 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 graphic design and, and also the photography. Because oh, the young man. man takes pictures. I remember before my little boy made one, we had some pictures taken with Ernest. Beautiful. And very yeah, beautiful. they were very nice, man. You guys got to check this guy out. We're going to get back into the rest of the interview after we run these beats. You already know what time it is. It's after 12. So you know the beats are about to roll. So if you are... Anywhere at work right now and your boss is in the area, tell your boss you need to go take a five minute break or a twenty minute break because you know it's two sessions of the beat, but you need to just get one beat. <laughs> at least one beat and you need to have a five foot diameter in your area so you can dip because the beats are about to roll like now. Yes, sir. It's your boy is GQ. I'm doing an interview with DJ Juice. You feel me? 105.9. Know what it is. Hey, Ernest GQ, what's up, brother? Yeah, it's all good, man. All good, having fun right now. All right, we spoke with Ernest GQ earlier. We were talking about his entertainment uh, career as far as dealing with the music. Now we're gonna dip into something a little bit deeper, which is his photography. Now let's talk about your photography. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing it for about six, five, six years. Um, started started in high school. You know, I took up a photography class and learned the basics, and you know, uh, just took a love for it. And then when I got out of high school, you know, went to college for a little while, did it in college, and then you know, came back home, you know, and started a business with it, and just started doing senior pictures, started doing stuff for artists all around the parishes, you know, from Lafourche to Terrebonne. You know, it's the St. Mary Parish. So you travel as well, right? Yeah, I travel, man. I still do it from, you know, from here and there. I kind of stared away from it for a little while, but you know, I'm still a pro at it. So if y'all need, you know, my services, just holler at me. I just holler at me on my site, you know. All right, cool. So, right, you heard that. You highlighted them on the site. So as far as the photography, do you do like video as well? I do videos, you know, I had the privilege to video a lot of, you know, big name celebrities such as, you know, Rashida and Kurt from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, um, you know, Toya Wright, you know, you know, the ex-wife of Lil Wayne, um, you know, a lot of big names, Kevin Gates, Lil Boosie, you know, shout out to DJ Juice for, you know, plug on that, man, so I really appreciate that, but, you know, I had a chance to video a lot of big names and I'm just blessed to, you know, knowing, knowing what I know and, you know, you know, doing what I do, basically. All right, so let me ask you another question. For all the people who are out there listening, whether they're local artists or just aspiring artists or anybody who would like to get into this photography or entertainment business or the art of, of what you're producing for yourself, right? what is something that you could give them? What kind of jewel could you drop on them to encourage them to, to, to keep going with that crap? Um, just to not give up. Do do what you love to do. If you love to rap, then you rap. If you love to sing, then you sing. If you love to do graphics, then you do graphics. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. You know, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to do what you do. So you do it as much as you can. And try to get noticed, man. Try to get around the right people and just make it happen, man. It just It takes a lot of practice, a lot of research, and a lot of, you know, just... Like I said, just making it happen, just loving what you do, man. That's, that's what right. it's about. Right. It's, it's, it is about, it's, it, it is about loving what you do because right. if you don't love your own craft and your own artwork, then how could you expect somebody else to love it? Exactly. I was telling uh, somebody last week, like if, 
if, if this is your passion and this is what you're into, then every time somebody sees you, this is what you should be doing. You should either be coming from it or on your way to it right. or living up the uh, results from it. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, you know, don't worry about if somebody hating on you or not. Just do what you do. That's that's all I can really tell you. Just don't worry about that. Bro. Do what you do and just trust in God. That's I it. Yeah, you know what? That's right. But you know what the best thing somebody ever did for me? Was hated me. I ain't lying. That's the best thing I ever did because... When, 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 when people hate you or have a, 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 a jealous heart against you or, or some kind of envy towards you, you know, it, it pushes you to work hard. I mean, you kind of, you might take a, like a little, a little setback with being, you know, discouraged that somebody might not like what you do. Right. I mean, that, but that's them. This is you. I mean, you know, the hate is going to be there if you're doing something positive. You know, you don't want it, you don't want people to hate on you, but they're going to hate on you regardless. All right. Aside from the hate part. Let's talk about this last subject before we go on with the rest of the beats. Okay. Local artists, give me your standpoint on it. Now, this this is a real touchy situation. Okay. Because you know, at one point we had the local artists complaining about not getting play or uh, the, the 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 neighborhood or the area not supporting them or who's the best rapper from home and Thibodeau was the cipher. <laughs> like all that other stuff was coming into play. What is yeah. something that you could uh, uh, um, drop on a local artist? Just support each other. That's the main thing that I would want to drop on y'all. Just support each other. You know, I mean, everybody's, you know, trying to rap. Everybody's trying to sing. But just support each other. Get on each other's tracks. You know, get on each other's mixtapes. And just, that's all you really could do. Because, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's a competition thing at the end of the day. But just support each other. That's what it is. Y'all from the same city. Y'all from the same town, same parish. Y'all just support each other, you know. I mean, people in bigger cities, Atlanta, you know, New Orleans, you know, Houston, they supporting each other, and they really blowing up. So I feel like people from home, Morgan City, Patterson, Bayou Vista, Thibodeau, Raceland, if y'all all just come come together, somebody could blow up, or even maybe two, three, four, five of y'all could blow up. That's what it is. A lot of people have to put their egos to the side and realize... Um, you know, if you wanna if you wanna do that movement with a group of people, then we need to delegate delegate somebody who y'all feel is the strongest artist right. that'll really be able to push and get everybody out. If not, do your own thing and go your own way and just go. Cause everybody got the talent. Everybody got the talent. Everybody just, has that potential. That's every, what it is. The, the potential talent, but you know, it's up to y'all to just come together and do something together. You know I mean, y'all don't have to do everything together, but do something together. Right. Bring unity. Last question. All right, give me your opinion on the black, white, blue lives matter. Let's talk about that. You know, the death of you know police officers is, is, is devastating, you know, and um, I want to send my prayers to the families and, you know, Alton Sterling and, you know, everyone has been losing their lives in this, you know, chaos. You know, we need to just love each other, pray for each other, come together as one. We don't need to be just hating each other and just saying this and that about each other. We just need to just come together. That's the main thing is just coming together as one. You know, whether you're black, white, Mexican, you need to just come together and just make it a better country because I know we have the potential to do it. So just come just come together. That's all I really can tell you guys. You know, love each other, love your neighbor, you know, and just trust in God. That's all. Shout out to the homie Ernest GQ yeah, yeah. for coming through today. I really appreciate you stopping by the studio, rocking with the DJ. If you want to reach Ernest GQ, where could you find him at? You know, you can search me on Facebook, Ernest GQ. You can go to my website, ErnestGQ.com. You can follow me on Instagram, at Ernest GQ. Follow me on Twitter, at I am Ernest Gray. You know, or you can just Google me, Ernest GQ. I'm all over the place, man. I appreciate y'all, man.